All right, morning. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Justin, and I own my own technology business, uh, information technology business called Network Troubleshooting and Installation here in Loveland, Colorado. And just uh, two days ago, I had a client of mine uh, have a pretty catastrophic building fire uh, pretty much take out their entire building. It was a multi-tenant uh, suite and uh, cause is yet to be determined, but uh, the fire department believes it's uh, accidental. Um, on a, a side note, one of my hobbies is fire department photography, and I am the photographer and videographer for the Loveland Fire and Rescue Authority. Uh, just happened to uh, have a client in this building. So um, I have bet a uh, place that I contract for um, kind of along the uh, lines of the whole you know, Ford versus Chevy truck debate. Uh, in the IT world, we have the HP versus Dell uh, server debate. PowerEdge servers versus HP ProLiant. I've just been a fan of Dell PowerEdge ever since I've been in business uh, for the last eight years. So um, I have bet a uh, very good colleague of mine from another IT firm that this Dell PowerEdge server that survived the fire will start. Um, I will slip in some photos here of the fire and the uh, inside of the server as it was recovered by the fire department uh, just yesterday, uh, the 10th. So uh, I will show you the taken apart server here. Um, We've got Dell PowerEdge 1800 and the RAID array of hard drives here. The server was underwater, clear up to the chassis line here, which uh, I will show you some pictures of. And uh, I've taken everything apart. The RAID controller card uh, is sitting over here on my chop saw box. Uh, the RAM is out, most of the cooling fans are out, um, etc. The backup hard drive system sitting right here. Uh, they have three of these and two of them are always off-site. Um, the fire and the debris as it was falling damaged this and this drive is actually jammed in there. I will have to pry it out of there. Uh, and the other thing that the fire did was at some point it ejected the CD-ROM drive and then as debris was falling it crushed it and took it off. Um, you can see still some of the uh, soot and other nastiness on the server. And inside the machine You can see some corrosion kind of built up on the battery. Well, you might not be able to see that, but uh, you can still see right there the the, the rear fan uh, has a bunch of carbon and soot build up on it. Um, this server, actually here's some more stuff on the uh, processor cooling fins here. The power supply was out of the water. Uh, as was the CD-ROM drive, like I said. Uh, and I fully expect, after having this dry all night, uh, I had the AC on here in the shop down pretty low to dehumidify the air, and I had a fan blowing on it. I fully expect this machine to boot, and I should be able to read the data on the array. Now don't get me wrong, this server is destroyed. It actually absolutely reeks like smoke and it has carbon build up probably on the back side of the main board. Uh, it is a fire hazard and can never be used again basically. Uh, this computer right here, just a pretty you know no, no frills client machine uh, uh, from the same office, was also completely submerged in water. Uh, it was, uh, well as you can tell, there's the height difference. The water was up to here. so. This machine was completely underwater. The power supply was completely submerged. Um, I'm going to try and boot this machine just for the fun of it, but I'm willing to bet it's uh, destroyed in a non-working state. So I'm going to get the generator out because I do not want to run this on shore power. And I'm going to uh, set this up right here out in the back of the shop door. So stand by and we'll begin.
Okay, there you have it. One reassembled Dell Power Edge 1800. Just some notes here. The CD-ROM drive, I'm sure, is destroyed. I'm going to leave it unhooked. Uh, obviously, I mean the tray is broken off. And the external backup hard drive, uh, I'm also going to leave out of this equation because if for some reason this machine just shorts out, uh, that's my most recent backup right here. Uh, I have about a week old backup that was off site. The client was out of town on vacation when the building caught on fire, so uh, the backup hadn't been rotated out since he was actually out of the office. Uh, anyway, I'm going to drag this outside and we're going to prepare to hit the button. Dell Power Edge 1800 was submerged up to this line here, which means the raid array was underwater. We're going to plug the power cord in and see what happens. I do believe it's running. You can hear the fans ramping up. Stickers moving, showing the airflow. I left the door off just for the video, but I put the front cover on to depress the safety switch. And look at that. I'm getting breakfast out of this deal. Let's make sure it actually boots into Windows. Invalid configuration, okay. That's what I figured. See if it detects my RAID array. All right, look at that. Look at that. So it looks like the BIOS uh, backup battery is also dead on the server. We'll go in here and get it programmed. And I'll uh, stop the video while I do this. Okay, BIOS has been reprogrammed at the correct date and time. And I think I put the RAID array in the boot order. We are about to find out. Greg, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you owe me breakfast. This is awesome. Dell ProLiant, or Dell ProLiant, good lord. HP ProLiant, I'm not sure. It probably would boot. Uh, Dell Power Edge, the proof is right here, man. I have a booting server. TN. Let's just check and make sure everything's running right. I feel ample airflow. Hard drives are running. Power supply is operational. Plenty of airflow coming through the back. Absolutely reeks of smoke. And it looks like it's throwing a warning of some kind here. I had every bit of faith that this server would start. There we go. Jeez. Can't even remember the password for God's sakes. That's right. We're going to log it in the event log. Up and running. Greg, I'm sorry to say you owe me breakfast. All right. Well, this concludes the uh, fun of the morning here. <laughs> and uh, I'm very proud to say that it actually worked. I didn't have any doubts, but obviously my HP friends did. So uh, that's that. We're gonna shut this down. I'm gonna call a customer. They're gonna be ecstatic. And uh, we're gonna go from there.